Hey, Sandy here. So it's haircut day. Um, just got my haircut. It feels so good. I don't know about you, but I love getting a fresh haircut. Always makes me feel so good and all put together. But I remember a time when I did not like getting haircuts. When I was little, my mom used to try to perm my hair and it's very straight and it's very thick and the perm just wouldn't stay in. So all my early experiences going to the salon were all pretty... I was there forever. It hurt. They were pulling my hair. Then as an adult, I never wanted to take a lot of time with my hair. I guess I'm kind of a tomboy at heart. I really like a style like this that I can just kind of run my hands through and I'm done. And what happened to me was that I would be in desperate need of a haircut by the time I would even realize I would need a haircut. And then it would take me another couple of weeks to remember to call and get an appointment. And then by the time I got there, it was a disaster. And I was really overgrown and looking horrible. And about five years ago, I found a new salon, it was new to me, and a gal that I really like who cuts my hair, and I guess the salon was really smart about this, but on my way out, they always ask me, do you want to go ahead and set your next appointment? So now I go every five weeks, which you have to do with a really short little haircut like this, but every five weeks, I get my haircut, and it's always on my schedule. I'm never wondering when am I going to go get my hair done. It just happens. It's very uh, it's very structured, but there's a lot of freedom in that structure. And there's so many other things, I don't know about you, but in my life that are that way too. And I think about um, getting newsletters done and out the door or direct mail pieces done and out the door. It's the same thing. I can remember as a development director that a newsletter was super easy to fall to the bottom of the priority list. But the problem is... If your intention is to stay in touch with your donors, then you have to get that newsletter out in a timely fashion. It has to go out on time. It has to go out on schedule. The year that I laid out all of my newsletters at once and stopped with the knee jerk, oh crap, I got to get a newsletter out. I laid it all out. I thought about the content that I wanted for all those newsletters, and I put a production schedule in place. So I thought about the day that I wanted that print newsletter to hit in that mailbox, and then I backed up to the day I needed to go to the post office, and I backed up to the day that I needed to go to the printer, and I backed all the way up to the day I needed to start writing. I gave myself some extra time, and all of a sudden, I had that same structure. I had that same knowing That as long as I followed the little steps, the end result was going to happen the way I wanted it to happen. And thinking through the content gave me actually a lot of freedom because I was never staring at a blank screen going, what the heck am I going to write about? It was amazing. So I want you to think about how you can put some structure in place for yourself, whether it's in your personal life, like getting your haircut scheduled, or maybe it's something about getting your newsletter scheduled, going ahead and thinking through your editorial calendar for your newsletters or your appeals or whatever it is. Put that structure in place for yourself. Everything will get easier and you'll have less stress in your life. If you want more tips on fundraising, you can get those at getfullyfunded.com or at youtube.com slash Reese one Bye for now.